Hello guys, today I will be installing this faucet Pfizer on this uh, bathroom faucet. Um, you know, first thing, first things, first thing is, yeah, just to open it and make sure that, uh, everything is inside you open them up and we just check to see if everything is in place it seems like if everything is good inspect everything all right all right so let's let's start working on this Poppy. This uh, particular uh, faucet, uh, it's this is the part number LF049 LRGS. This apply for a lot of uh, other faucets. They're pretty much the same. As long as it has the same thing on the back. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So on the package, you've got two valves. All right. Now, if you notice, they're not the same. What's the difference? Well, one it has color red, and the other one it's color blue. Okay. Now the red is always for the hot, which it goes on the left hold all the time. All right, so we get the valve. So we're getting the valve out of here. Okay. Now there's another thing that we got to look or to pay attention. On the bottom, there is an arrow. Do you see that arrow right there? Yeah, right there. That arrow, it needs to be facing the sink or facing towards you. That makes sure that the valve is gonna open the proper way. Okay, so I got that one right there, and I'm gonna put the blue on its place. All right, I'm gonna make sure the arrow right here on the bottom it's facing the sink, which is this way. All right, okay, guys, now I want you to take a look at. This box this is pretty cool, actually. It's, it's fancy uh, faucet. Well, it comes with a tool. This is a tool. All right, so that way you can install the uh, valves on the bottom. Okay, so you're gonna grab that and put it aside. Also, somewhere around here, you're gonna find an L wrench which is right here on the little package. I'm gonna put that aside too, because we're gonna need it. All right, add a wrench. Okay, so next, we're gonna grab this little nut, and it comes with, uh, well, you can call it a metal washer, which in the instructions is, marked as B1, all right, this is B1, and this is the, the nut, and it's time to go to the bottom and tighten this up, we're gonna grab our tool, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this, all right, yeah, so we're gonna put this, 
like that. Let's see how it stays like that. Well, right now, because I'm having just one hand, one to hold the camera, and the other one to do this, but uh, I'm gonna insert the knot. See that? And also through here. All right, see the arrow? Make sure it faces the sink. Like as I told you, you can see the arrow right there. And just start tightening this uh, nut. Make sure it goes snug. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Hoses together so that way I can start tightening this up, okay? And obviously, you do it by hand first, which is not going in yet. Right, so yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take a while before you. Nope. And it did not win. So I'm gonna try it one more time. So um. Camera fell, but okay. Just wanted you to see that I was able to put the nut. Had a little bit of difficulties right there because of the angle in which I am in here. Kind of very uncomfortable. Okay, so here's where the tool comes in handy. This tool, just pass it through here and tighten this up. And move the uh, valve a little so that way the uh, so that way the arrow faces the uh, the sink and I'm just gonna pull the tool again and tighten them up Second time the fall falls. Anyway, so pretty much I got it tight. Now I gotta do the other side too. All right. So guys, it will be much better if somebody help you out to hold this 
valve like this while you're tightening it so that way it gets pretty tight all right so i'm gonna do the next one and you already know how to do it so let, let me i'll come back to you in a little bit okay guys so i was able to tighten this up by myself uh if you're doing it by yourself let me show you what i had to do i had to put one of those uh, adjustable wrenches right here still some so that way you can hold it and then tighten it and i did a pretty good job by myself but if you you know it will be a much better if you guys find somebody to help you out all right this is tight nice and see let's get to the next step all right so far so good so now we're gonna get tightening the handles and for that we're gonna use the uh and the wrench that we we had if you notice there is a small Allen wrench right here uh, that we're gonna be we have to tighten it I'm gonna, I'm just gonna grab both of them All right, I'm gonna put it aside and let me find the uh, Allen wrench that uh, that I had uh, pull it out somewhere around here oh it, yeah, there it is it's on that package so out of this package we're gonna get the uh, Allen wrench out, these gaskets, they're going to be here too. And the Allen wrench that we're going to need. Okay. All right, so we got everything that we need and uh, we're ready to do the next step. Okay, guys, so we're going to try it on. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> so before we install the, uh, the little gasket, do you see this little lip? One side has a lip, the other one don't. Well, the lip it goes up. All right, put it there. Once you have there, we're gonna put the handle, try to match it so that way it faces down. Okay, so before installing the uh, valve back again in here, we have to make sure that they're both open at the same uh the same way which is inwards okay like that so we gotta make sure we have it on the right place make sure it's facing out and once we have it there we can go ahead and start tightening it however the flat side it should correspond with this in other words we have to find the proper location for this like that and make sure that this thing it opens inward both of them so like right here that one is wrong because see so we got to make sure it's like that and then we're gonna uh, start the process of tightening this and it's a little bit tight there, but it's, it's okay. With patience, we can we can make it. All right. Once you tighten these, make sure it's tight, but do not over tighten it because sometimes those little wrenches they go bad, and then there's a pain in the rectum to remove them again if you need to. All right. So I'm getting there. All right. So it's getting tight. Stay tight and where is it? Yeah, got it. All right, so yeah, that's it. Put in pressure. All right, so this valve, the hot valve, the hot water valve, is ready to go. It's supposed to be good. Now I'm gonna work on this side. It's supposed to work inlet. I mean, uh, yeah, both inlet and um, I put it around on purposely so that way y'all uh, just get an idea of what I was talking about uh, about this being straight and the valves opening inwards you gotta make sure that 
Okay, that's the correct uh, way. So I'm gonna fix this up like the other one, okay? All right, guys, so I got them all. I mean, I got both. You can see how they open in inward. All right, hot and water. It's already tight. Everything is good, so I'm, I'm ready to go for the next step, okay, guys? Let's do it. All right, guys, so for the next step, uh, it's time for us to put this puppy in here. All right, let's get it out. This uh, little note is just telling you that uh, it, might be a, it might be a little bit of water when they do the testing. Supposedly they have to test all of them and make sure that it works. And we're just going to remove this. Okay. And let's remove. Inspect that uh, everything is good and in place. We got this screw right here. Now for that, we're gonna use this other gasket that is kind of like a oval shape, like an egg. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use this. And uh, as you can see, as you can see this, it has two slots, right? One is for the uh, hose, one is for the hose, and the other one it's for this little bolt right here. And this it goes like this however I'm putting it wrong because this one it also has a little lip and that lip it goes inward okay yeah this thing comes with a gasket Make sure the gasket is facing down so that way you can prevent leakage to the bottom. And we just gonna slide it through the hole there. Just like that. Like that. Now this we're gonna be holding it. But let me show you right here. There's a lot of plastic bags right here that we don't need. And this, this is the puppy that is going to be holding that piece, piece there right there. And uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, so this we're going to stick it through the bolt, the long bolt, and this is what is actually going to be holding this uh, against faucet and then we're gonna screw this thing in just like that make sure this slot the slot it goes on the bottom does if you want to use a screwdriver or something or you know uh, and we have the tool for this you know remember that tool is this one right here that's to tighten them up out so this little tool came with everything that we needed all right so let's get it done and uh, from underneath. Okay. I need to see a place where we can take the camera. All right. Might be gonna turn on the light because we're underneath. I cannot do it no more. No light. But uh, anyway. I hope you can see this, but uh, this, it goes like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you right here. This thing, the way it goes. Oh, it goes just like that. I have to screw this thing in here all the way. I don't know if the tool is going to be very useful in here because I have a really tight place there. Anyway, so I'm going to tie them up all the way. Uh, 
see this when it goes like that. Keep on it. Uh, we gotta find the best angle in which it doesn't bother this thing. Okay. Now, since I'm doing it by myself, I'm gonna have to go through the top and see if it is, this thing is straight. Alright. See, it's not straight, so I have to put it. Also, gotta make sure that the gasket, it's good. So now it's a straight. See, that's the difficulty when you do this stuff by yourself. But anyway, I'm already used to it. And uh, yep. Now, like I say, this tool, well, it might help, it might not, because uh, we have to stick this thing in to turn it which is going to be kind of difficult so uh i would rather use uh, where is it okay so i had a crescent wrench with me somewhere around here i can find it like always so i'm going to use the channel locks these channel locks they always help me out for a lot of stuff man See, all you have to do is grab it from the right angle and uh, tighten them up. Yeah, these places are tight sometimes, and this is very useful. The channel looks are amazing to me. See how that thing is holding the whole thing from the bottom? Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. All right, and I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns more. It seems like if it's really tight, and I think I'm. I'm Pretty good there. All right, so I think it's pretty good there. It is really tight. It's not gonna go nowhere. So now we got all of these, all right? Cool, we're almost there. Well, at least for the faucet part. All right guys, and this is the result of the installation, the first step of the installation. This is a nice faucet, so. Okay, got a moment. If it's a little bit crooked, you, you can just move it with your hand and uh, just try to put it as straight as you can. Look at this. Oh man, this, this is gonna look beautiful, man. It's gonna be awesome, all right. The valves are pretty smooth, opening on both sides. And uh, all right, guys, let's let's uh, get to the next step. All right, so I want you to take a look in here, and this is what we got. All right, these two, but that's not what we're gonna use right now. Uh, this is what we're gonna be using right now. All right, I want you to take a close look at this Y. It's a Y. It's uh, for the connections. Now you got a, a red and a blue. And of course, the red always means hot and the blue, it only always means cold. So it has to be on that uh, uh, position. So that way uh, you get it uh, the right way. And the way this goes is that we go underneath. Again, this gets pretty tiring. All right. And uh, yeah, turn on. All right, you see this? right here guys all right so this it just goes in and it snaps in just like that look oh beautiful that was soft now this one same thing inspect that uh everything is okay and uh, you stick it to there and bingo it's on So now we gonna continue with the uh, next step. All right, guys. Uh, let's uh, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Now that we have that, the next step 
is that we just gonna bend it, bend it like that. Yeah, just like that. And guess what? This thing is gonna go in there and it snaps, boom, bingo. It snaps in just like that. See that? Beautiful thing, man. Nice, soft. Everything snaps. Once you hear the click, that means that it's ready to go. So now let's continue with the next step, guys, which is installing the uh, fittings for this. And uh, we're almost done. We're almost done in here. Yeah, we're just gonna put the fittings in. That's it. Okay, guys, so the next step uh, is to install the fittings in here. I hope you have this type of uh, uh, inlet hoses. Um, hopefully you do. Uh, and this is this is how it's, it's done. Uh, all right, so you grab this, all right, and you see the thicker part of the fitting where you put it under, all right, like that. Okay. Now you're gonna hold it'll be good if you have the crescent wrench, which I cannot find again. So I got my channel logs, which is saves my life. So now the tool that you have has this and it fits right through here. And look at this. Huh? Look at this. This is amazing. It works good. So tighten them up. And if you think it needs a little bit more, well, you can grab it from here and here with a crescent wrench which I don't have, but I'm gonna use another channel locks. And I just wanna make sure this thing is tight, cause I don't want any leaks. All right, sorry about this. Trying to fix my camera. But yeah, we're gonna put it like this. And finish the job. In fact, I'm gonna do it the opposite. Cause this, Hello has thinner jaws. Okay. So I grab them from here and tighten them up. Oh yeah. Same two thing to the other one. This is the hot. Let's do the same thing on the water, cold water. Okay, guys. So the last step that we have to do as far as us the uh, hoses and all that is install the hoses. Hot with hot and cold with cold. And see what I did? He just pushed it in, and this thing is gonna do the rest of the stuff. Okay, and uh, same on the other side. All right. Okay. Push that in, and uh, tighten them up. Uh, now we're gonna get a crescent wrench and tighten it on both sides. All right, crescent wrench, which I found. And, uh, right here. Oh, this All right. So we're gonna grab one end with a crescent wrench and the other one with the channel locks and tighten them up. And that's it, guys. Now it's time to install the drain. Um, what I like, what I like about this particular um, thing is that uh, it's not the traditional. <clears throat> thing that you pull and push over here on the back instead you push it and pull it from right here you avoid that uh, thing sometimes it breaks sometimes uh, <clears throat> you get stuck and it's just not beautiful so let's see how this one it does so what you do is uh, just uh, take it apart just like uh, you see right there it's kind of easy all right And we're just gonna stick it in. Make sure it has the gasket over here. Good thing about it is that you don't need a, a plumber's putty either. Now we go to the bottom. And this is how this thing is gonna go. All right, just like that. And let's go, let's get to the bottom and check it out, okay? All 
right. Okay. So you see the gasket right here? It goes up like that. There you go. All right. And all you have to do is tighten it. This is a much easier drain pipe than the regular other ones that I've seen. Uh, make sure it's tight. You may want to do it with a, a little pliers to not over tiny it, do not break it, but uh, yeah, it has to be tight. Just do it slowly. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna go on top. And we have this part done, you see? All right, push up and push down. Okay. So now I want you to I want you to see that. All right, you see how it's crooked. All right, we're probably gonna need an extension, and then one flexible trap. I'm gonna show you uh, more or less how to install this. All right. So let me get the equipment and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys. So this is the kit that I'm talking about. All right, part number right here all right it's uh, form and fit so what it is is it has this uh, accordion accordion uh, tube right here that it lets you uh, kind of make any form or any length or whatever that you need to all right so yeah so let's get let's get it on in here we are not going to need that part because it's already installed. So I'm not going to install this long tube. It's the one that it goes on the wall. I will going to be needing the bolts and the gaskets for the uh, tubing. Now, uh, if you can see right here, you can see that this is way too far so I'm gonna have to lower it and to lower it I have this uh, this tube right here which is an old tube but uh, uh, it's uh, it's helpful you know this is just extension the one we're gonna be using. this extension we're gonna be using and then we're gonna put the uh, uh, trap I'm gonna show I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and I'll come back to you now as you can see the one on the uh, the outlet the drain outlet it, it already has its own uh, uh, nut this one does not need a gasket because these shapes is a form that it, it, it acts as a gasket so now for the extension all right, the extension, uh, it's always loose. Don't panic. Uh, this gasket, you know, the one that is thicker, you can see if you put them together, you can see the thickness, the difference of the thickness. Um, I'm gonna use some brand new uh, nuts, the one that it came with the, uh, uh, with the kit. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna put the gasket as you can see it's facing down you know like the uh, um, arrow thing it's facing down that's so that way you can uh, create the shape of the uh, uh, gasket that's what's gonna be sealing the gasket all right and uh, you can feel it really tight and now you know it's... all right okay so now I'm gonna be putting the extension 
right here. And tighten them up really, really tight with your hands. <clears throat> you don't need to use tools. Uh, you can use a towel, a towel to, so that way you don't hurt your, your uh, fingers and tighten it as much as, as you can. All right. Now the bottom part, I'm going to be removing it. And I'm going to use this gasket. Remember, uh, you put the, uh, this first and then this. However, yeah, that's, that, that'll be good. Okay. <coughs> there is no howevers. <sighs> However, never mind. So now I want you to take a look at the trap. So I'm going to put it right here. Maybe push it a little bit higher. Can you see that it's almost there? Where? So that means that this tube is gonna go higher. I want it. I want it. I want it to have the same height as the one. So I'm gonna tighten this first right here. Okay. Because that's the height that I. That's as high as this thing can go. All right. So now for the extension, I'm gonna have to loosen it a little bit and bring it up. Okay, bring it up. You can see, you know, bring it up as high as, as, as you know, as it matches the uh, height of the uh, the other tube. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter if you go a little bit higher. It's okay because this goes down, so that's a lot better. Okay, now I got this part, the extension, this type. Now I want you to see this. See, that's the beauty of this type of uh, tube. You can bend it uh, the way you want it and you avoid costly repairs on trying to align. So this is it, guys. Look at it. All right, so all I have to do is open the valves. This is the hot and the cold. And we're ready to rock and roll. This is ready, guys. This is more than ready. So let's open this up. Try to open slowly the hot. Why I say slowly? So that way you don't bring any debris from the outside. I'm gonna open the coal, let the air out. Man, this is so beautiful. Look at it, man. It came out great, man. This is all right. And I want you to look at the bottom. Check for any leaks. See, this is so awesome. There is no leaks at all. Beautiful. I like it. All right, guys. So this is it. We install that faucet. Uh, we install. Uh, this vanity top. Now, if you want to see how I made this thing, because I made it, I made it specially for this. We get rid of the cabinet. Well, subscribe and don't miss my next video because that's what I'm going to be showing you how I made this. This is so strong, really strong, and uh, it's durable. It's going to last for years, and I'm going to show you why and how. All right, guys, so this is it for this video. Thanks for watching it. If you like it, please uh, subscribe and uh, put the thumb up so that way you can get the alerts. Thank you guys. See you later.